Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We have even more mods to showcase today, and I guarantee there's a few that you didn't even know about. If you haven't seen part one, it'll be down in the description. So definitely check that out for some more cool gems as well. For this first mod, we're gonna need some space. This mod is called Realistic Hot Air Balloon, and this adds a spawnable hot air balloon anytime that you want it. It comes with some pretty straightforward controls, so you can ascend and descend. You can rotate the hot air balloon as well, and of course go forward and back, so you have full control of your destination. This hot air balloon isn't the fastest vehicle, but if you're looking to take in some beautiful sights, or maybe just easily climb a mountaintop, this mod is definitely not a bad choice. Even in first person mode, you can really see the depth, and from up here, RDR2 still looks beautiful. Wow. You could even use this to get the jump on some bandits and unleash some punishment. Just don't forget that you're in a hot air balloon and jump out. The next mod is a relatively new one, and this mod is called Ultraviolet. This is a new ragdoll mod that changes up the game. So as you're raining terror on NPCs, you'll see that they have all new animations, and it all depends on where you shoot them. And there are a lot of different Euphoria mods out there. So you just gotta pick one that you like and then roll with it. But this one is pretty cool. The NPCs drop super fast when you shoot them, especially if you hit them in the head, they drop to the ground like dolls. This one is definitely in my top Euphoria mods. Of course, next to the first one I showcased in the last video, this one is pretty nice as well. I will definitely be keeping this on for a bit longer to uh, play around. The next mod is called Non-Combat Stance Execution, and this allows you to execute NPCs even when you're not in a combat situation. So this allows you to go up to any NPC and basically execute them whenever you want. So you're no longer tied down to be in a combat situation to do these animations. You can basically do them whenever you want to. And this is something I didn't even know was a thing until I actually saw the mod. This is definitely a cool lightweight mod that you can basically use in uh, any situation. Another mod that we are using is called Head Bleed. And this basically bleeds every head that you shoot. So if you hit a headshot, that head will bleed no matter what. And then you can slowly watch your NPC just struggle bus it until they eventually bleed out. Oh, what are you doing, man? Bro, chill, dog. Chill, 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 chill. This is also compatible with Euphoria mods, so you can get the best of both worlds. The next mod is called Cut Dialogue Enhanced, and this is a subtle mod that adds unused voice lines in different situations. It is one of those mods you may not even notice, but it does add that detail into the game. And these new unused voice lines can be heard in a multitude of situations. So when you're in the stores purchasing items, you can hear some lines. If you're under fire and cover, if you just want a fight against some bandits, or if you get into fights with the lawmen. If I'm being honest, I don't even know if I would be able to tell the difference between the voice lines myself. I definitely need to run through the story again, vanilla. But for all the people that have played the story mode a multitude of times, this mod could certainly add to the experience. The next mod is called Old Lantern, and this brings out the first lantern Arthur ever pulls out which is definitely better designed than the lantern they give you in the base game. It is a small mod, but if you prefer this lantern design, why not? Now this next mod was a request, and I was basically asked if there was a mod to prevent weapon degradation. And the good news is there is. And the mod is called No Weapon Degradation. So no matter how many times you fire your weapon and get that carbon buildup in the barrel or just having some fun in the mud, your weapon will stay pristine. The next mod is called Remove Speed Limits. So if you're tired of being slow in certain situations, you can now press a hotkey to disable that. Now this is more beneficial in story mode, in situations where you're in the campsite or in scenarios where you're forced to walk. Sometimes you don't want to take it slow and steady and get to where you're going. Now if you play RDR2 with a PlayStation controller, whether that's a PS4 controller controller or a PS5 controller, this mod will definitely help you out. This mod is called PlayStation Icon Replacement, and by default on Steam at least, if you plug in a controller, it's going to default to the Xbox control scheme, so if you have a PlayStation controller, you're kind of out of luck. This mod changes that by allowing you to see the PlayStation controls on screen. Just a quality of life mod for us PlayStation controller users on PC. The next mod is called Automatic Greet Reply, and as you may have guessed, Arthur will automatically reply with a greet to any NPC that greets him. Morning, dear. You look a right mess. Don't you worry about it, okay? Good morning, mister. Morning. Okay. Hi there. Okay there? A simple yet fun mod to let Arthur be his own man. The next mod allows you to do this. You can travel the map anywhere you want 
at any speed that you want. And this mod is called Red Dead Free Cam. And for whatever creative purposes you want, this is a mod that you can use. You can use it to get some B-roll if that's what you're looking for. Or maybe you wanted to see what was on that high ground. This is a mod that gets it done for you. And this is a lightweight mod that just works. It has simple controls. You can change the field of view. You can roll your image. And you can even enable different kinds of filters if you want. As you can see, they have the, <laughs> the drunk filter too. I didn't even know that. This even has a settings menu where it allows you to change a lot of variabilities, such as the weather, the time of day, and a lot of other things you'll have to play with. But definitely a cool mod for your creative endeavors. The next mod is called Camp Anywhere. And this mod essentially allows you to set up a camp wherever you please. You're able to sleep or sit in your tent, rest by the fire. And I've paired this mod with the auto craft mod. So instead of holding down the button traditionally in order to cook your food or stow it, this mod will automatically do it for you. So you can cook your bird or game meat on autopilot. This also works for ammo crafting as well. So you can craft all the ammo you need hands free. So once you find that perfect little spot for Arthur to rest, why not set up camp and relax for a little bit? The next mod is called Vestigia. And this is another graphical and environmental overhaul. This is another choice of mod that overhauls the visuals of RDR2. This mod comes with five new weather types as well. So you can experience RDR2 in some pretty crisp visuals. But all in all, it is a pretty beautiful mod in order to enhance your graphics. Just be wary, this can be pretty heavy on your PC. So you'll need a decent rig in order to run this. Next, we have a mod called Quick Draw. And this allows your gun to automatically be cocked. So when you pull it out, you're ready to fire. You no longer have to wait that second in order to take out your gun and start shooting. Paired with this mod, we have the no combat stance. So even in combat, Arthur Morgan won't have that ugly hunchback animation. So you can stay strong and do your business. Come on, Officer Morgan, hit him. Next, we have a mod called Horse Lowdown. And this mod adds a sleek holster as well as a lasso and canteen to your horse. So now you can cruise around your horse in some style. The next mod is Use Weapons in Camp, and this mod is basically for story mode, but it allows you to take out your gun even if you're with Dutch in the game back at camp, just in case you wanted some justice for Micah. The next mod is called Ambient Events, and this is a mod that will occasionally spawn random events around you. So you can see things such as bounty hunters trying to capture somebody, all out brawls between people, or even new random shootouts. This will definitely help to add some more variation to RDR2. Hopefully you enjoyed part two of mods that'll make you replay RDR2. We'll see you next time.